Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Uh, Walter, did you have something you wanted to jump in here with before we... Uh... You know, before we go on to some other things with the time. No, we, we, can, we, can, we, can, we can we can go forth. Oh, okay. I'm good. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, so let me see here. What stuff, I'm trying to, to, to see what we haven't covered. There's some people, uh, I've been putting up some comments from people who say they, they have, what was it? Someone said they, uh, let me see. Uh, CZ Bundy says, my sugar weasel is right next to me between my seat and the center console. That gun lives two places here in this truck. And next to my nightstand, the best truck, uh, gun, and home defense. So, thank yeah. you. I appreciate the we'll, support. We'll, yeah, not wrong. Yeah, we'll we'll get that out there uh, for the folks. Um, you know, let me see what else. Lola's got. Uh, Lola says, "Will Q consider uh, what is it selling without the the brace slash?" Uh, that was the question. Yeah, without the brace. Are you going to consider selling it without the brace? I think. Yeah, yeah, okay. we, we already prototype and we thought of that. We have a few options. You know, my, mm -hmm. I don't think I could be successful or successful and as fortunate as I've been if, if I didn't fully commit to things. Mm -hmm. Right now, I am fully committed to the White House and the DOJ doing the right thing and forcing ATF's hands to rescind this letter. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm committed to. And you know, customers, your listeners, everyone has supported us, and we've gained some traction with them. They've suspended the cease and desist. However, mm -hmm. it does not become uh, a full-time reality. Yeah, that's one way. I mean, there's 10 ways we can get around this, and that's one of them. And, you know, and the sad thing is, like, I'll sell it without the stock or the brace, and I'll sell it for the same price, and then I'll sell the stock and the brace. The great thing for me is I'll make more money, mm -hmm. make a lot more money. Mm -hmm. but screws the customer and and i hate that but yeah we're, 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 the honey badger is not gonna die because of some arbitrary atf bs ruling mm -hmm. okay very good uh let me just encourage everyone out there to smash those thumbs ups okay we appreciate that um okay another question that came in what is q doing during the 60-day waiting period <laughs> <laughs> well yeah. fortunately we're back ordered over a year on almost every gun we produce, including the Honey Badger, Sugar Weasel SBRs, mm -hmm. and the pistols, but also the fixed rifle, our bolt gun. Mm -hmm. So um, we're using this time to ramp up uh, our production and operations, accessories, and these other firearms. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. We, I mean, we actually have hired probably half a dozen people in the last month. Mm -hmm. And we'll probably hire another half a dozen in the next two quarters each. Okay. Um, and so I'm not really sure what, like, what was the decision to led that led to you being, you're in Massachusetts, you're, uh, you're in Boston? No. We are not in Massachusetts. So where are you? So we're in New Hampshire. New Hampshire, New okay. <laughs> Walk to Massachusetts from here. Okay. But if you're south or out west, and there's a big state, so it doesn't really translate very well. But mm -hmm. New England. A lot of the states are the size of like counties. Mm -hmm. So uh, from my office, I can walk to Maine and from my house, I can walk to Massachusetts. So okay. Massachusetts being one of the most liberal states in the nation, mm -hmm. New Hampshire is the live free or die state. That's right. the shirt. There you go. Okay. This is why the, the motto. Yeah. Okay. And, um, but we're very close to mass. So the importance of all this is New Hampshire does not have its own field office for the ATF. The closest one and who has jurisdiction over us is the Boston, Massachusetts field office, which is who sent us the cease and desist letter. Mm -hmm. Well, they are incredibly liberal in a horrible state, and that's who sent it to us. It's not New Hampshire. New Hampshire's a live or die state. It's a great state. Um, so that's where we are. That's what's going on. That's who sent us the letter. It sucks. Yeah. What, what was... Uh... Why did you make the decision to live um, there in, in New Hampshire versus, like, I don't know, somewhere in the South or, you know, was, was well, there, what, what had to do with that decision? Well, I'm from the South. Okay. All my companies previously, I'm from Atlanta. That's where I was born and raised. The companies previously were there. Um, never had a problem with ATF. They were wonderful. Move here, 
because I became uh, a division president of SIG, which is in um, mm -hmm. Newington or Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And when we started Q, I took is probably me and 10 other SIG employees. We left and started Q or a mile down the road. So that's why we're there. It's a great place. SIG is a great company. New Hampshire is a great state. And it was a great way to recruit. And, and probably 75% of our employees come from SIG right now. So mm -hmm. why we're here long term, okay. innovation and stuff will probably stay here. But I bet as we continue to grow, you'll see manufacturing something else in a more uh, welcoming state in uh, a, a, you know, ATF field office jur jurisdiction. So probably somewhere like Tennessee or Texas or Georgia, South Carolina, somewhere like that. Okay. All right. And uh, here's a, here's a comment from uh, military arms channel. He says, spend the 60 days trolling the ATF on Instagram. I'll join in. It will be epic. Uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be epic till doors start getting kicked out, Mac. <laughs> that, that takes 10 minutes a day. You mm -hmm. know, the fun mm -hmm. is, are, are, are the real fire behind all this stuff, there's a couple things. We have to hold ATF accountable. Mm -hmm. And I want the public to know because I anticipate there being, continuing to be repercussions from challenging ATF, and I want it all to be public. I'm afraid of them just like everyone else. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, ATF, if we mess up, we're held accountable, that's great. I want to learn from it and move on. I want to continue to grow. Mm -hmm. um, when they mess up, it, it's no one has accountability except me. Mm -hmm. Like they mess up, like in this instance, it costs me millions of dollars. It doesn't cost Marvin or anybody else. Mm -hmm. The Boston, uh, the attorney in the Boston field office or the, the agent that sent us the letter, it costs them nothing mm -hmm. to mess with me, mm -hmm. to shut business down. To, to infringe on rights or or to cost employees money. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we're going to continue to try to walk that line of getting people involved, holding them accountable, and not having them firebomb my house. Yeah. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to find. Uh, I'm trying to find your. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to find your your Instagram so I, so I could show the post that you put up there today. And let's see, it's it's live, Q or die, isn't it? Um, it no, it's Instagram. It's the underscore official. Oh, underscore the official. That's why I can't find it. The okay. yeah, the official. How are you not following us? I am following you guys. Okay, I look. Okay, watch. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. I'm not pressing any other buttons, and let's we're see. gonna go in there, and boom, it says following. It says following. I just forgot to type in the official and all that kind of stuff, right? So it's... Uh, Except you and Walter. Yeah. Which, by the way, oh, you guys posted on there. That's so awesome. Look at that. That's that's a handsome fella. That <laughs> you, put, you put a thing of me up there. I'm sorry. I got, I, got, uh, <laughs> I got caught up in that. I like this post that you put up there. It looks like it's you in front of uh, the QHQ. Uh, and it says... Uh, you got one of the cardboard sign that says... ATF is bracist. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, you've got uh, is that the is that the honey badger you have there in your hand? Or? Stole the suspect right there. Yeah. Um, and then what is under there? It says hashtag don't wake on me, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's no, funny. They, yeah, you know, yeah. Marvin got accommodations for his actions at Waco, which later turned out that the ATF set the place on fire and burned a bunch of kids. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have that in my bio there, Marvin, but no. he just wanted to. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it's interesting. I left on a hunting trip last week to Wyoming, and my 17, well, he's about to be 17, said, Dad, uh, don't let him Waco or Ruby Ridge our house, please. And that's, like, sad. Like, I don't even talk to my kids. They don't even care about my work. He knows enough to know what's going on, and and it, obviously to have that that thought in in the back of his mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. So so th then that became funny, but I mean, because most of these things like bracist and don't wake on me, bro, those all come from like fans or customers that post mm -hmm. on our Instagram. <laughs> like, there's a lot of creative people out there, mm -hmm. but I, that was the most fitting. It's like okay, you got the MPX brace, which was approved, and that's what SB Tactical based our brace on but then you decide our gun is an sbr um yeah it, 
a lot of sense. Yeah, Walter, you always you, you always tell me when you went to the ATF that there was a what was the thing you said there was have, a. There was, have you been Have you been to their uh, uh, place in Washington? Yeah. Okay, so you saw the model of Waco, right? No, I haven't seen that. I haven't been. Oh well, they, they have in their lobby there. They have like the history of the Treasury Department and their and all their little you know uh, prohibition and this and that Miami you know the drug the 80s and all that and then they have a model of the Waco thing made out of wood in one of the displays you know saying about eight of their agents being killed or something like that and it was so hard for me to keep and they were, I had to bite my tongue not to say well why isn't it burned <laughs> I mean it is sad I mean to me the loss of human life ever for something unnecessary like this or especially Waco, how pathetic and just terrible. Mm -hmm. um, Unnecessary. Yeah, it, yeah it, seem, it seems just horrific that you would celebrate Prohibition or Waco or any of these things in any regard. It's a, it's a tragedy and it's stupid and it costs lots of innocent civilians and, and government officials. Like, I'm sure all those ATF people, um, you know, the people following orders are probably good people and didn't mean harm and it's sad. Like they're all husbands or, you know, mothers or fathers or sons or whatever. It's tragic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Max says they're so proud of Waco for some disgusting reason. Um, this is the reason why uh, the ATF doesn't need to exist. It's hard to argue with that. Like Waco was such a tragedy. And, you know, the idea that we have just intolerance of, of people who are different mm -hmm. or that we don't stand in that you got to go in and firebomb the place mm -hmm. um it's sad yeah yeah um so let me see here someone uh this is let me take this question someone said how many 200 hundred dollar tax stamps money has been sent out so is anyone taking you up on the offer because i think you said that if anyone wants to go sbr you guys will send them that's correct well we are we're gonna for everyone who has a honey badger pistol once they get an approved form one mm -hmm. we send them a Two hundred dollars. So obviously, no one's gotten an approved form one yet because it was like a week ago we announced this. Mm -hmm. But every single person that has a honey badger pistol, they choose to form one it, no matter what ATF how they flip flop within the next sixty days. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm going to reimburse you for your tax. So mm -hmm. every single person that does it will get their money back. Every one. All right. Very good. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.